How's it going Forex traders? Welcome back to yet another amazing video from yours truly. My name is Dapper Willis and thank you guys for clicking that button to watch this amazing video. You probably already know what it is. Today is yet another episode of Trader Talk whereby I go into my charts and I share with you guys some of the most amazing trading opportunities that are going to make you so much money. So if you want to end the year with a bang, if you want to end the year with some money in your pocket, if you want to have some money to spend during Christmas, sit back, relax and watch me show you guys what exactly is popping in Forex right now. Now guys, so before I jump into my charts, I just wanted to quickly say something. You guys know that we're about to launch one of the biggest and the most reliable prop firms in the world. It's called Willis Capital. Willis Capital will be launching first week in January. Yeah! It's taking us so many months to put everything together. You want to know why? Because for the first time, um, you're going to come across a prop firm who is actually placing those live trades in quote on the live market meaning that when you pass your challenges challenge one on the demo challenge two on the demo and then you actually see that you know you get your login details most prop firms out there were just putting the trades in the in a um, like in the server and they were actually not placing the trades on the live market we have actually decided that we're gonna use our own money to fund you guys for real i've put aside 1 million us dollars of my own money yes guys real stuff so once you pass phase one go over to phase two when you see live on your trading platform best believe that she is live so guys like i said the days are approaching get yourself ready and that leads me to my next point which is please guys before we launch first week in january i urge you guys to try as much as possible to get yourself educated like i said this is real money that we're going to be staking for you guys this is based on belief based on the fact that i know you guys have been watching my youtube channel I want to believe that you guys are well educated. Now, if you're still struggling with your trading, I encourage you to go ahead and grab the Forex Mastery program. Use the month of December to comb the entire program so that once January comes, you know I've gotten my education in one hand, I'm waiting for capital. So once you have education and capital, guys, that's exactly how you become a Forex millionaire. Education capital so use this month grab the forex mastery program digest the top down analysis now for those guys who do not know what the top down analysis is is by far one of the best trading approaches out there you can use it to trade any forex pair pretty much any financial instrument i'm going to show you guys obviously in this video how i'm going to use it for, to predict AUD USD. i'm going to use it to predict s p 500 bitcoin you name it so guys the top down analysis is as far as I'm concerned, one of the best approaches out there. If you haven't already grabbed the Forex Mastery program, click the link down below or around here somewhere. Grab it and please use the month of December to educate yourself. Once you're done taking the program, I always tell people, take the program. If you already have it, go and re watch all the videos from the beginning. Again, once you're done with that, then come back on my YouTube channel and watch every single episode of Trader Talk because what, what I do on Trader Talk is I use what I teach on the Forex Mastery program and I'm literally showing you guys how to use it in real life. So first of all, you learn it, understand it, digest it from the Forex Mastery program and then you watch all my episodes from episode one to this is going to be episode 52 so that you're like, ah, okay, so this is the concept but this is exactly how it's used in real life i don't see i don't see any forex trader do that on, on social media okay it's not just about teaching the concept the concept is freaking amazing learn it but i also want you to see how i use it real life because there are certain market formations that might happen and i'll say okay i left this trade for this reason and blah 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 so once you have both the top down analysis obviously which is on the forex mastery program and you watch all my videos on youtube all the trader talk videos you put them together you'll be absolutely ready for the launch in january and once the launch comes you will feel very very confident when you're buying that challenge purchasing that account because you know you know what i'm well educated i'm going to pass these challenges and i'm going to get funded ten thousand dollars twenty five thousand dollars fifty thousand dollars for goodness sake a hundred thousand us dollars the choice is yours so once again if you haven't grabbed the forex mastery program the link is going to be around here somewhere ensure to grab it 
a word is what enough for the wise okay guys so let's jump into the video let's jump into my charts i want to break down AUD USD, which is my favorite pair um s p 500 has made us maybe over i think 350 to 400 pips already so uh, AUD USD, s p 500 and btc as well you can see how i'm not i'm not i'm not uh i'm not stuck in one aspect of trading i'm not stuck i'm not restricted to like freaking currencies or or commodities i can the top-down analysis the forex mastery program allows me to see everything and once i can see everything i can choose the very best once again guys let me show you how it's done don't go anywhere sit right there let's jump into my charts let's go all right people all right traders welcome welcome inside of my screen as always anytime i see the charts i get pretty excited yes this is my turf this is my territory and this is what puts food on my table so anytime i see it i'm really excited so what we have in front of us is AUD USD. before i give you guys the nuggets before i give you guys what's going to happen next in the market you guys need to do one thing now usually around this part i say go ahead and subscribe to my channel well I mean, subscribe, the button is right there. Smash the subscribe button right there. Smash it so that you don't miss out on stuff like this, okay? Most important thing is I, even the bell icon so that once these videos come out, you get notified because if you watch this videos two, three days after it comes out, what's really the point, right? I mean, the market is already, the, the setup has already played out and then you lose out, right? So it is in your own best interest to smash the subscribe button. But more and most importantly, before I carry on, there's a link in the description that takes you to the Discord group of Willis Capital. Those people on the Discord group will be the first people to get admitted into Willis Capital once it goes live. You know that we have limited spaces available for traders. Yes, never been done before. Most prop firms, because of the fact that we want to be able to control the amount of capital that we're letting out, we can only accommodate a certain um, I think it's 5,000. Okay, it's 5,000. So it's the first come, first serve thing. Because of the fact that I'm putting my money down, this is real money, we can only allocate so much to so many people. And as we speak, we have a capacity of 5,000. I'm looking to hopefully push it up to 7,000. That means I'll have to add maybe about another 850 to $1 million of my own money, making it $2 million aside for you guys. But for now, 5,000. So do yourself a favor. That Discord group, you need to be inside. This is real stuff. and. I spoke to my team. I want to also be in the Discord group, especially for the traders that are funded live. I want to be able to help you guys inside of the Discord group. So if you've been funded, if you're live, because of the fact that it's my money, I don't want you guys to lose the money, right? As, as much as I want you guys to obviously make money for yourselves, I actually don't want you to lose the money because if you lose the money, you're losing money, you're losing my money. For you, it's just like I pay the subscription, whatever, blah. But this is real shit. <laughs> so inside of the Discord group, we're gonna have subcategories, especially for the funded traders. For the funded traders, I'm going to be able to go on there and also be able to coach you guys from time to time. It's going to, it's going to be called a trading floor. So you're gonna have a community of like-minded funded funded traders where you can interact so join the discord group wherever it is you are in the world we're accommodating everybody that discord group is in the description after the forex mastery program link which you should have gotten by now join the damn discord group because you on people on the discord group will be the first people to obviously see the announcement once willis capital goes live so there's two things i wanted to say to you guys subscribe and join the discord now let's go let's start let's, let's do shit for real okay now <clears throat> aud usd hmm. stubborn you know where i come from where i come from you guys know predominantly i'm nigerian right there's something called the stubborn goods <laughs> this aud usd this is stubborn goods <laughs> Guys, if you know what the stubborn goat is, confirm in the just comments in this description in the comment section. Where I say stubborn goats, <laughs> AUDUSD, the stubborn goat. Comment down, you might win the prize, <laughs> guys. Ah, bro, just when we think we're clear, the guy will pull back. Just when we think we're clear, the guy will pull back. Just when we think we're clear to the downside, the guy will pull back. Now, guys. This is perfectly normal. 
Now, the reason why this is perfectly normal is because you have to understand that the US dollar in itself has been weak. So <clears throat> you can see the Euro USD retrace all the way to the upside. GBP USD rallied maybe like a retracement of maybe 900 to 1000 pips from the lows of beginning of this year slash end of last year. So the USD has been weak across, you understand, the entire year. That is why there hasn't been enough USD power to pull the AUD down to where it should be, which is somewhere around here. That's exactly why this has been happening. So well, that's why you've seen all the merry. It's called Nigerians will call it merry go rounding. The thing is, <laughs> if it is merry go rounding up and down the whole place. But at the end of the day, <clears throat> this is what separates the profitable traders from the chaff. Okay, your ability to stomach the ups and downs, the waves. Because I keep telling you guys, the market is not linear. The market is not just, I mean, we predicted AUD USD to come from here to here. When I, and obviously, I teach this in the Forex Mastery program. I tell you guys, the market moves from one zone to another zone. But I also tell you guys, the market is not just, it's not just going to drop from here to here. Are you crazy? Never. It will play around. It will test you. You come, you test you, you come down like once ago, you test you again, you test you again, you come down, you test you again. So, your ability to withstand all these tests is what is going to separate you from the losing 95% of traders. This is what is going to categorize you as a five, a top five percent traders. And I always tell people so, when things like this happen, I'm all right, I'm, I'm usually not surprised, it is annoying. However, I'm usually not surprised because it is what it is. The market is not linear, so it's bound to go up and down. And it's pretty much supply and demand. If there's a lot of if there's a lot of supply, the market the, the, the prices will fall. If there's a lot of demand, prices will pick up. So there's constant battle between buyers and sellers, supply and demand in the market. And that's why the market moves in waves. Now that being said, what does this mean for AUD USD as we speak? Now we all know that AUD USD loves round numbers. You see, guys, anytime I look at my charts and I want to analyze my charts, I always like to back it up with the principles of price action. Now I've been trading AUD USD for, for years, many years, and I can tell you that AUD USD what loves round numbers. If you look very carefully, when we ran it all the way up here, it ran it into a round number, not 0 0.800. What formed is base around here? not 0.700 when we came down we rallied back to 0.700 so now we've bashed not 0.700 we're between 0.700 and 0.600 which is at this blue bar about here now we know first of all adusd is bearish so we're only looking for selling opportunities top-down analysis teach you while looking for forex mastery students you know this once you do your top-down analysis monthly weekly you can see that the market is flowing south once we're flowing south, we're now below 0.700. Once we're below 0.700, we've, you know, the 0.700 has held it down. We're facing down. Next level target should be 0.600, but it's taking a sweet time to get there. So I've been watching the market go up and down, up and down, ebbs and flows and all that. And then <clears throat> just when I thought, okay, we were clear down to at least this base, this support, which is supposed to be around here, you know, which should act as support, we come shy of the support level and stop at 0.6270 and then the market starts to turn around. And then we started to push all the way to the upside. I'm like, oh, here we fucking go again. Just when I thought we were clear. It is what it is. So usually at that point, don't forget guys, I'm still heavily short AUD USD. But just at that point, what do I do? I just take some few steps back and I do the, I look at the bigger picture. And this is why I always talk about talk about this in all my social media platforms. Always look at the bigger picture your ability to zoom out in forex will save you a lot of money you save you so much headache you save you a lot of stress even in times of retracements like this as you can see after zooming out i looked at the bigger picture and from what i could see the market was pulling back into this trend line and we all know principles of price action state that the third touch of the trend line usually does the trick meaning that once the market touches the third the once the market touches the, the trend line for the third time that is usually the point in which we start to sell off obviously in a bearish scenario and not only have we rallied into trend line resistance we have all also rallied into uh regular resistance as well and also if i break go on a daily time frame and i bring out my fibonacci
which is my favorite instrument to use in Forex, you can see that the market has pretty much rallied into the 50 fib zone. Now, for those of you guys who have been following me for the longest, if you're just joining me for the first time, this area is called the Willis zone. It is right almost nine out of 10 times. If the market pulls into a situation whereby there's a confluence between trend line, resistance bar, and Fibonacci resistance, that market is most likely going to what sell off. So I am holding on to the principles of price action that guide the, the trading activities in the market to also guide my own decisions as well. And based on that, I have decided to jump in for another short sell AUD USD. And my first level target will obviously be at this green bar about here. Forex mastery students, you know that once we jump into a trade, we must always take out 50% of our position at the 100% retracement. If we're able to clear this level about here, we have a couple more things until we get down here. But ladies and gentlemen, I'm still, in fact, I'm short AUD USD. If you're watching me, wherever it is you are, I think the trade is still pretty much valid. Uh, so this is come down a little bit. My short positions are somewhere around here. Um, we've come, we've rejected it twice, and also if you come on the four-hour time frame, you see that there is a double top formation, a double top formation, a double top, double top pattern formed inside of the Willis zone. What does that mean? Not only do I have trend line resistance, not only do I have normal resistance, not only do I have Fibonacci resistance, I also have price action resistance chart pattern resistance you know double top what equals reversal to the downside which obviously produces a uh, thingy for a bearish market so from from the look of things we should obviously be rolling over all the way to the downside this trend line counter trend line once we break it but i'm already short this because it came into the willis zone usually i don't wait for counter trend line breaks once we enter the willis zone i'm just already in almost pretty much short once we have a daily and bearish engulfing candle close out of the market. So that's pretty much it for AUDUSD. Feel free to jump in other sales. I know most of the Forex Mastery students are already short selling AUDUSD. However, um, that being said, me being an analyst, me being a realist, me, me, me having a lot of experience in the market, um, I always have what they call areas of concerns, which I always take down in my journal. I've been doing this 12 years. I manage well over $150 million in the Forex market. Um, but I still journal my shit. <laughs> this trade, this setup, screenshot. I already screenshotted it because I like to see things that, you know, before and after. How was I feeling when the market was playing out? Okay, how was I feeling when the when the when the setup happened? Okay, this is very important so that I can always go if if this kind of opportunity presents itself in the future, I can always go back to my journal and be like, okay, this was the setup, these were the parameters, these were the clues, this were the evidence, this is how the market was behaving, and this is exactly how I was feeling. Now, depends on how this market plays out, it will also guide me for any future setups like this. That being said, in my journal, I also leave an area for what they call areas of concern. Now, I'm 90% sure that AUD USD is going to drop. However, there's always that 10% of uncertainty. And in this case, I'll share with you why I'm a bit worried about AUD USD. Now, I'm worried about AUD USD because of this bullish engulfing monthly candle that formed in November quite scary if you if if, if 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 i'm being honest with you and obviously this looking like a double bottom on the monthly time frame you get what i mean so things like this i must always take into consideration so that if the market starts to act irrationally or go against me i am already mentally prepared like oh okay there was a possibility of something like this happening and also in my areas of concern i always try to write out how i should react in the event of a loss this is very very important how i should react in the event that the market doesn't go according to plan because i have already i have already accommodated it in my mind so when the market starts i'm not saying it's going to go against me i'm just saying that in the event that it does i'm already mentally prepared you see the traders inability to mentally prepare themselves for potential losses is what fucks with them 
I'm right nine out of ten times. I'm going to show S and P 500 is right. this trade I'm talking about is in minor profit. I'm in heavy profit on AUDS. I'm in profit in S and P 500, but still and still, I don't just get carried away because I'm always right. Never. I always leave room for error because this is the market anything can happen at any time so this is why i always implore fantastic risk risk management strategies and i always put these things down in my journal so that in the event it happens i'm like oh, cool i already mourned the loss before it happened and this way when things are not exactly going the way i want them to go i'm not afraid i'm not clicking i'm not clicking sell buy okay close these that are not jumping up and down my mind is conditioned so i already know in fact in my journal i already write how i should react in the event that things don't go according to plan now i wanted to use this opportunity to obviously this, this is psychology trading psychology right there so i wanted to use the opportunity obviously to share to explain what i mean by what i mean by that now, but that being said, though, I think this shit is going to fall. <laughs> I think this shit going to drop. Well, the, 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 the bullish and golfing kind of on the monthly, like, brah. But yeah, we'll see. AUDUSD to the downside. Um, if you're going to jump on this trade, ensure to use proper risk management and all of that jazz. Now, over to S&P. I know I wanted to go over this quickly so that you guys know what I want. Over to the S&P 500, my favorite thing after sliced bread right now. Um, I'm currently up. I'll show you guys. I'm going to check my phone shortly to see how many pips I'm up. <sighs> so you guys know the bounce was from here. I've gone over this a couple of times. This was a perfect Willis zone setup. Perfect Willis zone setup. Ba 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 bam. Pull back into trend line support and Fibonacci. No, that's Fibonacci pointing to the upside. Voila. We're gonna clear here. I believe next level target for uh, S&P 500 is going to be 4,778 basis points. Once we're able to clear that, um, we should be seeing new highs at 5,559. That's if the Fed doesn't tamper with interest rates and all the other announcements that they're always talking about. So S&P 500, the trade is already gone, and that's pretty much it. But AUDUSD, don't be scared about AUDUSD, guys. I just said all that so that, you know, I want you guys to, this is how you should think as a trader. I'm not here to sugarcoat anything, no freaking Lamborghinis and this and that and blah, blah, blah. If I'm going to be giving you guys my money to trade on Willis Capital, I have to start I have to start driving all these things home. If I want to really build a community of profitable traders, this is how you have to condition your mind. I'm 90% sure it's going to drop. So I'll get into the trade. But there's also that 10%. Get it? So don't be scared, pull the trigger. I already pulled my trigger. So S&P 500, bad, woof, to the upside, woof, woof, all the way to the upside. I see no reason why that shouldn't happen. And last but not the least, BTC, whoa boy, D. I told you guys about Bitcoin. I told you guys about Bitcoin. You see, allow me brag a little bit. If you watch my previous Trader Talk videos, I call the collapse of Bitcoin from here down down all the way down here called it it dropped even further called it broke i've been i took bitcoin in fact i predicted the bullish movement here i took it up brought it down and just two trader talk videos ago or the last one i still predicted the bullish movement to the upside unfortunately I was unable to find a very good trading opportunity because I, this is not my style of entry. Okay, this is more of a supply and demand trader kind of vibe. Obviously, I know supply and demand traders would have gotten into. Actually, I want to start incorporating supply and demand into my trading from next year. But I want to really refine it and perfect it properly before I start sharing. I've been, I've been testing it on the side, but I really want to refine it properly before I bring it to you guys. So yeah classic supply and demand case obviously ra 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 this was it this was the demand region about here once it comes comes back into here click buy and then you have all this thing to the upside so you have all this space to the upside if you're a lower really if you're really a lower time frame trader you will definitely find trading opportunities i don't really like scaling to a one hour time frame um but i could see potential demand zones about here and potential demand zones about here so either of these dips, dips, I'm giving you guys some supply and demand strategy right here. So any of these dips, 
maybe dip here watch out for here like ideally i would want to see a bounce off of here or a bounce off of here either of these regions around here we should see a rally to the upside further further upsides uh we should see on bitcoin uh you heard it here first on dapsy radio bitcoin is heading to 47,250 47,253 dollars per freaking coin okay i've been calling this shit for the longest it is what it is this is what happens when you can use the top-down analysis properly shit is easy shit is breezy you got nothing to worry about guys okay so once again guys i think that's my time these are the three pairs i'm looking at eh, the euro euro is coming down to the blue bar it's coming down what did i tell you last time guys i was looking at the euro i wanted it to break down like hmm, this blue bar was holding it it took it up but it's coming back down <laughs> i'm not interested in the euro until we break this this blue bar although although guys although 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 this cell is tempting good looking clear mm. before it starts tempting me let me check uh, you see something will be tempting you see guys let me tell you something about forex if something is tempting you go and check all the reasons why it shouldn't happen if you've seen a clear setup go and check for all the reasons why it shouldn't happen now if you can rule out all the reasons why it shouldn't happen then it will happen you see i was just tempted about the euro i just said let me check this trend line let me check this trend line let me guys check this trend line what is it the guy is here so ideally if you want to sell the euro you can sell you are clear to sell into 1.06627 but this guy is going to react i'm not saying he's going to bounce off of here but you see this guy he go react you know why look at this demand the market he tried it here psh, down psh, down tested it psh, down broke it came supported it well from here psh, this guy go hold in fact you can sell all the way down to here oh, why the fuck did i even see this thing earlier so that been sweet cell whoever is on this cell is bad ah, guy on child whoever is on this euro usd cell is milking it what you can do though you can use the falling knife strategy Shh, don't tell anybody about the falling knife strategy it's only for the forex mastery students you can use the falling knife strategy from here down here but you need to come to a lower time frame to be able to enjoy this yeah, i don't really like going for trees i don't really have a high pip count if we break in here trade somewhere around here Use falling knife strategy. Hold on. So I'll just simply wait. Simply wait for the market to break this zone test here. So I'll wait for something like this. A little, little something like this. A little, little, little something like this. <whistles> Ideally, so not 1.07524 all the way down to 1.06627 so you're looking about a hundred pip drop 100 pips is 100 pips but not my kettle of fish i just wanted to quickly announce that to you guys you know me i like to look at things from a bigger perspective if it's not worth my while it is not worth my while but i mean if you're a euro usd trader you're looking for a setup that's a good setup however me i'm going for the big fish when i go for the big fish I get to obviously place my trades and go and do other things. I don't really like spending too much time in front of the computer. Hold on, guys. Back. Um, so, I mean, that's pretty much it. So, Euro USD. Um, you guys are like lower time frame traders. Just obviously, that's a op potential opportunity for you guys to be able to smash out. Obviously, we have to break uh, this black bar around here. If you see further downside, you're free to sell. If you break here, obviously, well. To be honest, if we break this blue bar, we're coming all the way to this. If we break this this black place, we're coming here. Sorry, guys, I've been talking so long, I'm getting tired. So I think that's it, guys. ETH, let me see what ETH is saying. ETH always moves the same direction as Bitcoin. So they're yeah, just the same brother and sister. US oil, not much going on. So that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I've got a special message from Okta FX. They would like to say something to you. I'll see you guys in my subsequent videos. Don't go anywhere. Please watch the Octa FX ad and kindly create an account with them. <laughs> They've been supporting the channel, so I mean, go ahead and do that. So, yeah, watch the ad and then don't forget to obviously subscribe to the channel and do all the amazing things I said. Let's go.
Hey guys, so I've got some exciting news for you guys. Okta FX, which is now Okta, is finally expanding their range of financial services with well over 300 trading instruments from commodities all the way over to cryptocurrencies. Now the aim here is to ensure that your trading is absolutely hassle-free from offering low spread, no hidden fees, and no hidden commissions as well. Now Okta, which is obviously a very reliable Forex broker, is now ensuring negative balance protection, basically preventing you from risking more than you invest. Now you're gonna ask yourself, why Okta once again? Well, like I said earlier, industry low spreads, no hidden fees, and a demo account so that you can actually practice and explore the market before you actually put in your real money. Now, guys, one of the favorite things I like about OctaFX is the seamless platform transition from web to mobile that lets you trade anytime, anywhere. Um, don't forget to obviously use the special promo code down in the description. DAPO100 gives you a 100% bonus on your deposit, turning whatever, maybe $100 to $200 or $200 to $400. So don't forget to use the promo code DAPO100 and obviously the promo code is gonna be in the description down below. Now guys, don't forget, and I always stress this, trading has its risks, especially when it comes to leverage. It's not for everyone, only invest what you're comfortable losing, okay? Now, if you're ready for the, your trading journey with OctaFX, check the link in the description down below or download the app on Google Play or the App Store and don't miss a chance to boost your trading. Once again, guys, I'm going to head back to the video now. If you want to join OctaFX, the link is going to be down below. Don't forget to use my promo code DAPO100 and I'll catch you guys in the video. Thank you guys for staying to the very end of this very lengthy video. Like I said, I love you guys very much. If you haven't already grabbed the Forex Mastery program, link is around here somewhere. Ensure to grab it. And if you haven't already subscribed, ensure to subscribe. I'll catch you guys in my subsequent videos. I hope you've joined the Discord for Willis Capital. If you haven't, you're on a long team. <laughs> ensure to do that. All the links are in the description. Subscribe to the channel. Get the Forex Mastery Program and ensure to shortlist yourself for Willis Capital. I'll catch you guys in my subsequent videos. I love you guys very much. That's my time. Peace out. Bye. Cheers.